Hey everyone, Jake with HHA. Super excited uh, to introduce the Tetra and Tetra Max Rise. Uh, the Tetra Max and the Tetra Rise is our new two pin vertical uh, bow sight that we're coming out with here for this year. So you'll notice a couple things on it. It's very similar to our single pin platform that we've had here uh, over the last 25 years um, and really similar to the other sites in the Tetra line. So what we basically did was we took uh, our single pin technology and we merged that with uh, some multi-pin technology. So the way we built our Tetra and Tetra Max rise sites was we basically dropped the second pin um, in that vertical pin coming up from the bottom and then we added a second indicator on the yardage wheel. So both of those are fixed. Uh, one really nice thing with this setup is you sight in at 20 and 60 with the top pin and you don't have to worry about the second pin at all. That second pin and second indicator will automatically be on. So really nice feature there. The Tetra Rise and Tetra Max Rise are going to come in eight different frame options. So four in the Tetra Max Rise, four in the Tetra Rise. Both are going to come in the fixed Hunter Edition frames. So the Tetra Hunter Edition frame the Tetra Max Hunter Edition frame, as well as the Hoyt Picatinny mounts in both the Tetra Max and the Tetra Rise, as well as the long dovetail and then the short dovetail bar option that I have on uh, the Matthews Bridge Lock system. So all the, all the dovetail options within the Tetra and Tetra Max Rise are gonna be compatible with Matthews Bridge Lock system. So within both of these product lines, you're gonna get a lot of different options as far as which site you wanna go with. So you're gonna get your choice of a yellow or red um, second pin. Red is gonna be the standard second pin color, but you can choose to go with the yellow option as well. Um, and then both will be available in either a 10 or a 19 thousandths pin. All scope housing sizes are an inch and five eighths. And we do have the same front end that we've had on the Tetra line uh, since 2020 with the macro gain adjustments as well as your micro adjustments as well for windage. New on the Tetra Rise this year, you're gonna notice that there is a new needle carrier. Um, so this needle carrier obviously has the two indicators, um, but you will see that it is a red anodized uh, needle carrier to really call out um, where your needles are at. On the Tetra and Tetra Max Rise, uh, we'll be able to achieve longer distances. So we have built the longest tape sets that we've ever offered uh, in our company's history. So guys are gonna be able to get out to 120, 130, 140, 150, and in some situations even farther depending on your arrow setup. So just making sure that we're getting arrow clearance, but really nice feature to be able to just step out in the backyard or head out to the 3D course uh, to shoot out to some of those longer distances. On the hunting side of things, uh, this is one of the nicest hunting sites that we have ever built. It does have reasonable pin gap spacing with a quarter inch spacing that way, you know, if that deer runs out from 20 to 35, your second pin's on. So the most commonly asked question that I've had so far as we went through this whole setup process is, where does that second pin sit? Well, that second pin is going to vary depending on the different arrow setups that you do shoot. Closest answer I could give you is, the most common is gonna be somewhere between uh, 32 and 40 yards, depending on how fast your bow is. So you'll likely be somewhere between that 32 to 40 yards um, with that second pin if the first one's at 20. So along with all other HHA products, the Tetra Rise and the Tetra Max Rise carry 100% lifetime warranty. All products are 100% made in the USA. Uh, for more information, you can visit our website at hjsports.com.